Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to answer one question. Is Grand Lady D Nord piano sample still relevant today? If you follow this channel, you would have already watched my previous video Nord Grand Piano Factory Presets, where I demo how the Grand Piano Factory presets sound on Nord Piano File. If you are a musician or simply into music with affinity for pianos, then this video is for you. By the end of this video, you will have a good understanding on what the Grand Lady D sample sounds like and the potential use cases for it and if it's still relevant today. We will start with a blindfolded comparison between Grand Lady D and White Grand and I will ask you to guess along with me by leaving your choice in the comments below as which one of the two you think it was Grand Lady D and you will understand why I'm using White Grand sample to contrast Lady D against later in the video. We'll then look at Grand Lady D sample and the actual piano this was sampled from and move into the final part where I share one of the potential use cases I found Grand Lady D fits in my Grand Piano Library. How does that sound? Let's get started. I'm going to play a very short part of a song in the two samples. One of them is going to be the Grand Lady D and the other one is going to be the White Grand. Which one do you think it was the Grand Lady D? Post the video and add your pick in the comments below and come back to the video. Good. Now that you're back, we've just heard two of the Grand Piano samples. One was released in 2011 and the other one in 2019. Eight years apart. Which one was your favorite from a tone perspective? The Grand Lady D was released in March 2011 and is a carefully voiced Steinway Model D that has been selected by Nord Team because of its spatial tonal characteristics. Nord Team captured the full sound from the tempered double crowned soundboard. The excellence of the huge maple body and every nuance of the almost 300 strings are also present which incidentally are made from Swedish steel. What you've just heard was the large size of the Lady D sample as I could not find the extra large version of this sample. What are some of the highlights worth mentioning for Stanway Model D called D274? D74 is the model name of the concert grand piano, the flagship of Stanway and Sons Piano Company first built in 1884. It is generally described as the first choice of most concert pianists. As of 2017, a D274 finished in polished ebony has an MSRP price of $175,700. An estimate from 2003 suggested that more than 90% of concert grand pianos worldwide are actually the Stanway D274. The world's most expensive grand piano sold at an action is a specially designed D274 named Stanway Alba Tadema. It sold for a staggering $1.2 million in 1997 at Christie's in London, breaking Stanway's own 1997 price record of $390,000. The D274 was built in 1883 through 87 and designed by Sir Lawrence Alma Tadema. 
It is displayed at the Art Museum, Clark Art Institute. Let's hear the Model D 10 as sampled by Nord in 2011 by the name of Grand Lady D. What are my first thoughts? What do I like about this Tanway Model D, namely Nord Grand Lady D? Personally, I love the bass sound of this sample. However, I believe Nord should record one of the latest Stanway Model D again and give their customers an extra large sample of their new recording. Thus, Node, PM team, product management team, if you are following my channel, please take note. Now, what is the general feedback around Stanway Model D from the pianist community around the tone, timbre and touch? And what is it that the Model D gets right? Stanway Model D has a broad tone and a spine tingling timbre. That's what it's known for. Stanway's commitment to establishing a strong bass register back in 1884 has paid big dividends over the years. Over the years, the Model D and other Stanway's grants have possessed a strong bass to go along with the broad tone and a timber some have called spine tingling. The sheer power of in a Model D allows it to project to the back of any concert hall. In terms of the real Model D's touch, a highly responsive action with longer keys, the Model D's action is exceptionally responsive, allowing the pianist to channel a range of subtle emotions directly into the keyboard. Again, the length of the keys in that Model D is responsible. The pianist utilizes the gentler feel when playing towards the back of the keys. This sophisticated action is the reason so many professional pianists prefer the Model D. They feel at one with the instrument and believe that its range of tone and color brings out the musical best. I might do a dedicated video on acoustic Steinway's pianos later on. Thus, leave your thoughts if this would be something of interest for you in the comment section. Let's talk about this particular Nord Grand Lady D sample use case. If you recall in one of my previous videos, I've introduced the Nord Soft Grand, which was sampled after the Yamaha G2 Modern Compact Size Grand Piano. I believe mixing the two samples, Soft Grand with Grand Lady D, gives me one of the best piano sounds available on a digital piano currently. Let's hear that combination of Soft Grand with Grand Lady D.
With that, let me wrap it up with what we've covered today. We'll look at Norwood Grand Lady D piano sample and assess its relevance today by comparing it against the latest Stanway Semi Concert Model B Grand Piano. Then I brought context for the Stanway's flagship Grand Piano Model D, which this was sampled from back in 2011, and finished with a creative mixing of the two different samples, Soft Grand and Lady D. There you have it. Is Grand Lady D still relevant today? I'm Stan and this was fun. If you found this video insightful and would like to see more, click that like and subscribe button. See you next time.